Go ahead. Hello, my name is Ben Woodruff, and I've been invited out to share some of my artwork tonight here. And I mostly focus on watercolors. I do all mediums, carving, sculpting, and all kinds of paint, but watercolor is near and dear to my heart. So I've brought a wide range to show tonight. This first one over here is a magpie with a broken wing, and it actually has a poem that goes with it. I raise birds of prey. They mean a lot to me, so they're often featured in my art. This one is a Cooper's Hawk, painted in watercolor as well. And to do tight watercolors takes quite a bit of time. This uh, painting took several weeks of a Gila monster, 100% watercolor, and uh, it turned out well. I actually have a live Gila monster where I work at the Hutchings Museum, and so it's again painting something near and dear to me. Down below is a ceremonial headdress made with a cast of a saber-toothed skull, antlers, and wolf and water buffalo teeth. And this is a ceremonial rattle made with a uh, reindeer antler, and I have carved a Celtic knot emblem into the wood. And this is the only acrylic I brought tonight, again, of a Gila monster. Uh, this doesn't look that much different from the first, but it takes, it can be done a lot quicker with acrylic. So it gives sort of a nice three dimensional appearance. Up above, is an extinct cat from the Ice Age called a scimitar toothed cat. We don't know what they look like, so I decided to paint that with the snow leopard markings. It's a good guess. I've worked for uh, two museums as the on site uh, paleo artist making displays, and it's always fun to try to take a guess at what an extinct animal looked like. This next painting is of bunch grass, which is a simple subject. And this would be a very simple painting to do with oil or acrylic, but this is a watercolor, and I had to plan every blade of grass ahead of time and draw it ahead of time as a big messy tangle before I put a drop of paint on it. And then actually one of the pieces that even though it's simple, I'm really very pleased with. Next one is a snow leopard, the basic watercolor. And the next one is a Jeer Falcon, which is the biggest falcon in the world. This is a watercolor, but there's no glass, and it's a three-dimensional piece. So the falcon is on, it's cut out on a piece of foam board, which is glued over this rock, which is cut out on foam board, and then that. So there's three actual three-dimensional la la layers to it. It's a different, different style I thought I'd experiment with. Next painting is a barn owl. And I did this with the intention of the, this inner track is painted and this outer part is actual barn wood. So it's meant to sort of look like you're peering through a window, maybe into a barn of a barn owl living in a barn. Next one is another 3D watercolor of a Merlin falcon who's caught a quail for its dinner. And this, the falcon, is on, cut out on a piece of foam board. So it's a literal 3D piece. The next piece is Siberian Tiger in the Snow. This is also a watercolor, so anything on that painting that's white is not paint, but is the paper. So every whisker and all of these flecks of snow and all the snow back here, everything that's white is just an area where I did not put paint. So the whiskers especially were really tricky. And there's no uh, masking fluid used on that. Some watercolors use that and I have never tried it yet, so that's just straight paint. And then, brought some prints, but over here is some lithic art. These are stone that I have chipped and flaked into uh, traditional stone tools, knives. Uh, this is done with actual pine pitch glue. So it's uh, pine tree sap mixed with charcoal from a fire to attach it. Some of them are less traditional, obsidian, with a pretty modern antler handle or deer bone handles. It's a wide range, gold sheen obsidian, flint, snowflake obsidian. It's very, very hard to flake. Cactus handles, just to give an idea of what can be done. Gives a little bit of a taste of, of what I do as an artist. Thank you, Ben. You're welcome, thanks for having me out.